Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 31 through 35. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 31. During VM provisioning, a cloud architect is adding necessary software packages to the system. Among the options provided, which tool should the architect utilize to complete this task effectively? The answer is A. Cloud init. Cloud init as a tool for VM provisioning that uses tailored functionalities, particularly in bootstrapping environments. It excels in automating the initialization process of cloud instances and virtual machines. With its versatile configuration options, it allows administrators to define various settings, including software package installations. Question 32. A systems administrator used the following code to set up a cloud-hosted server. Based on the code, which technology did the systems administrator employ to achieve this goal? The answer is C. Ansible. The systems administrator likely used Ansible to complete this task. Ansible is a powerful automation tool that simplifies the management and provisioning of infrastructure, including cloud-based servers, using YAML as its primary language. In the provided code snippet, the YAML file specifies the creation of an AWS EC2 instance using the EC2 module. Question 33. What is one of the primary roles of a bootloader? The answer is B. Initialization of essential hardware components. The bootloader's role in initializing essential hardware components sets the foundation for the proper functioning of the system during the boot process. This involves tasks such as detecting and configuring the CPU memory and storage devices. By identifying and appropriately configuring these components, it lays the groundwork for the operating system to effectively utilize them once control is passed to the OS kernel. Question 34. A Linux administrator is troubleshooting an issue where a newly deployed container fails to start correctly. Which of the following commands will enable the administrator to identify the first command executed inside the container immediately after it starts? The answer is D. Docker inspect. The docker inspect command is handy for getting detailed information about a docker container. One thing you can view with this command is the container's entry point. This entry point lets you set what command runs when you start a Docker container. Question 35. A system administrator needs to verify if files from the MySQL package have been modified since installation. Which of the following commands will accurately provide this information? The answer is D. RPM V. MySQL server. The RPM V command is used to verify the integrity of package files. In this use case, the RPM command with the dash V option, followed by the package name MySQL server, allows for a comparison between the current state of the MySQL package files and their original installation state. Any discrepancies detected during this verification process signal potential unauthorized changes or file corruption, enabling the administrator to promptly address security concerns and maintain the reliability of the MySQL installation. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.